Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To In this video, I'll be showing you GameSir G7 SE Best Settings. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just under this video. Let's get started. So if you're looking for the best settings here that you could use for a GameSir G7 SE, well, there are a few recommendations here, recommendations here that you may want to use. So first is you want to set up your the GameSir Nexus app. So first, make sure you've downloaded and installed the GameSir Nexus app on your PC or Xbox. This is where you'll configure most advanced settings. Next is we wanted to adjust our polling rate here. Now the recommended uh, value for this around is around like a thousand hertz. So in this case, you might be wondering why. So this actually ensures the fastest response time possible. You'll get smoother, more reactive controls, ideal for competitive shooters. Where uh, in this case, uh, you need to change this via the GameSir Nexus app. Next is for the stick mode here. Now the recommended setting for this one is going to be uh, for raw uh, input, output, you want to set this to 1 is to 1. Now this actually gives you precise unfiltered control, so perfect for aim accuracies in FPS games. Now what about the dead zones here? Now the recommended uh, setting for this one is on the left stick is around 3 and on the right stick is around 3 again. Now a value of 3 strike a balance between avoiding stick drift and maintaining tight responsiveness. Now, what about dead, so uh, dead zones here, in-game settings, so in this case, the settings on your game. So, uh, this actually depends on the actual game, but you may want to set this around like maybe uh, around 1 to 6 or even like 5 in the middle. So yeah, so you can go and just adjust this depending on your preference. Now, what about the hair triggers here? Now, uh, you want to uh, basically enable hair triggers mode. So in this case, typically speaking, you just need to go to a, open up the Nexus app and set triggers to impulse hair trigger. And on the controller, you just need to hold like M and the LT and RT uh, buttons and till the uh, controller actually vibrates. Now, this actually speeds up the trigger response, allowing for faster sh uh, shots in games like COD or Apex. Now, what about the stick and trigger calibration here? So in this case, what you need to do is you want to basically press and hold the view menu and xbox button until the light blinks here now let the uh, both stick uh sticks here rest press a then move sticks and the sticks and triggers fully three times here now full three uh 360 now press a to complete and also this actually ensures accurate movement range and prevents misleading during gameplay and in this case what about uh, the back button mapping here this is just optional, but it's quite powerful if you utilize this. So in this case, how do you map this? So you just need to hold the M and the R4 or the M and L4 uh, buttons for three seconds. Now press the button you want to assign, like for example, crouch or jump here. And in this case, that's it. So in this case, map actions like jump or crouch are for easier access during like intense combat here. But again, this is just optional. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video, hopefully hit the like and square button and watch our next video.